yeah, yeah, I have been asked this before, and I am tired, just like everybody else. I'm tired of the love triangle. But I've said previously that the, I think the reason why this has gone on so, for so long is because it's a unique situation where we had a, a beloved character that wanted to move on and, and try different things, and we all wished him well. So Elizabeth's character really wanted to honor the that connection with the fans because the fans were in love with with the Jack character and uh, couldn't have the lead of a show not have a love interest. It just, that's not television. So we had to move on, but you couldn't move on too quickly because it would look, it would look badly. Then when it happened, the idea of the love triangle was an interesting thing. And I think everybody was on board because we had two terrific actors and two terrific human beings for those guys. Um, but it just kind of snowballed into something that it didn't really mean to be. But I think that it just got caught in that area where you're trying to balance the respect of the past. And then because we entered this love triangle, you want to respect each of these characters equally because they've been so wonderful in their participation of it. The choosing becomes kind of crazy. And I think that in all honesty, I think the reason why it took so long is because nobody could make up their minds. It's not an easy question. When I was first asked, I thought that the DNA of the show was between Elizabeth and Amounty. I just thought that was the DNA. That's where it came from. This is what that show is. But over the course of the years, I've realized that that's not necessarily what the show is anymore. We may have moved on. That doesn't mean I don't think... Uh, that, that, I'm, that I'm necessarily team Nathan or team Lucas, but I think it's a lot more level playing field than I did when it first started. And I'm not going to say which I like more because I've developed a friendship with both these guys that is really like, like I really like both these guys as, as human beings. So um, there is a choice made at the end of the year and I am happy with the choice and sad at the choice at the same time. And I think that there's going to be a lot of fans who love it and a lot of fans who don't. It's just the, that's the byproduct of having a love triangle. You're not going to make everybody happy. But I think I, I can't even say I don't think made the right choice or the wrong choice. There was no right or there was no wrong. I mean, these guys, either one is going to be a huge home run because they're both such charming, handsome, smart, fun, gregarious, charismatic young men. And I think that either one of them is going to be perfect with Elizabeth because she's, that's the one thing that that character needs because she's so charming and she's so charismatic. You have to have somebody that can equal that. And I think both these guys have that. And I think in the end, the fans are going to, you know, we've moved on from where we were and I think people will accept it and they will move on with us because we tell good stories and we're a place that people want to come and visit. Yeah. I know people get very intense about that. I don't, I don't get into any of that stuff. The, the choices are, I have nothing. I have nothing to do with the choices of who is staying or who is going. This is a network level thing. And they have their reasons for making certain choices. I do not get involved. I've never been asked for my opinion. Um, but I realize the fans are super passionate about this. But a lot of the same fans were super passionate when Jack left. Now we're super passionate about something else. And I'm hoping that the fans will follow us and be super passionate about where we go next. Yeah, 